my name is Sandy Lee and I am a second year rheumatology fellow at USC and this is coming to you from RCWA. So this is, I'm going to be presenting a lupus clinic. This is a 42 year old female who presented with multiple months of urothermative nodular rash. She had associated fevers, chills, and arthralgias. We initially thought she had some kind of cellulitis and so she was treated with antibiotics. Her coxie titers also came back positive, and so we thought she might have a coxie infection, so she was treated with fluconazole for about 14 days. However, 10 days after she started the antifungal, she came back to the emergency room, and she was found to have this new facial rash. So she was pretty much admitted to the hospital for sepsis rollout because she also had fevers and tachycardia. She also, so these are her physical exam findings. So on physical exam, her cheeks were really puffy. She had this pill um, Yolande appearance on her cheeks. Um, she also had this violaceous indurated plaques on her bilateral lower extremities as well as on her upper back and as well as her lower back. Her labs were pretty significant for leukopenia as well as microcytic anemia. Her LDH was elevated and her CRP was pretty elevated at 83. Her imaging did show that she had this 6 seven centimeter in this right and mixel mass and she also had some colonic thickening as well as um, some liver lesions as well and her PET scan showed that she had hypermetabolic activity in her left lower extremity. So dermatology did a skin biopsy and it actually came back positive for this atypical lobular paniculitis um, and it was very similar to how lupus paniculitis presents or T-cell lymphoma. And so they did some immunohistochemistry and immunohistochemistry came back positive for T-cell lymphoma and it was negative for TCR delta and th thus it ruled out gamma delta lymphoma. And so she was started on treatment for the T-cell lymphoma and so she was started on child therapy. So it's really important to really talk about this case because lupus profundus can present, with, present similarly to subcutaneous T-cell lymphoma. Um, because they have very similar histology and very similar clinical features. Um, they also, it's really important to also run some immunohistochemistry on the pathology as delta gamma T cell lymphoma has a very aggressive course and you want to really eliminate that um, and so you can start treatment appropriately. And we have to be very vigilant um, in having a broad differential uh, with patients who present with paniculitis. Thank you.